Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Forbes Flash. Thanks for joining us. Tis the season for end of year roundups, and this is one of my favorites, the top shows that were streamed in 2018. Of the top 20, all but one were on Netflix, signifying a pretty dominant year for binge watching on the platform. The top streamed honor goes to 13 Reasons Why, the teen drama, which now has two seasons available for streaming. And as for the one show not on Netflix on the list, it's Hulu's The Handmaid's Tale. Praise be. Here's a few stories you might have missed this past week. Verizon's attempt to enter the digital media world was a multi-billion dollar mistake that won't be easy to recover from. Selling its oath digital properties, including HuffPost, AOL, and Yahoo, isn't realistic in the wake of their decision to take a $4.5 billion write-down on the business, effectively rendering it worthless. Coming up next, likely layoffs, in addition to the 10,400 employees who have already agreed to leave. The wireless giant's workforce right now is around 155,000. Do you ever order from Postmates? A robotic rover might be delivering your lunch within the next year. The delivery service's new autonomous courier is called Serve, and it's basically a shopping cart-sized robot on wheels. Okay, it's a little more advanced than that. It has blinking eyes and lights that help it communicate with pedestrians using light patterns. People in LA will get to meet Serve first, and it'll roll out in a number of other US cities over the rest of the year. Fox News Channel ends the year with its highest rated primetime in the network's 22 year history, outpacing cable news rivals CNN and MSNBC. But MSNBC came in highest in terms of growth, up 12% from last year. The two networks are the closest they've been in ratings in the past 18 years. CNN, meanwhile, is down 6% from last year and only has one show in the top 10 for the year, Cuomo Primetime. Looking for inspiration as we head into the depths of winter? Check out our inaugural list of the world's top women in tech. It's filled with international role models who refuse to stop innovating and moving the world forward. The women hail from all around the world, including countries like Kenya, New Zealand, China, and the UAE, to name a few. Take Marita Chen, a roboticist and Forbes Under 30 alumni. She co-founded not just one, but two companies, plus RoboGals, an international student-run organization that has taught more than 70,000 girls at robotics workshops around the world. I highly encourage you to check out the whole package on Forbes.com, because despite the odds against them, these women technologists run the world. It was Google CEO Sundar Pichai's turn to visit Washington this week, enduring nearly three and a half hours of questions in front of the House Judiciary Committee. The subject? Google's market position, potential political bias, and concerns about a censored search product in China. Much time was spent on the idea that search results might be biased against conservatives, to which Pichai remained on message with the response that he, quote, leads this company without political bias. After the hearing wrapped up, the members of the committee still have five days to submit more questions for Pichai to respond to in writing later. Thanks for joining us. Share your feedback using hashtag Forbes Flash, and we'll see you next week. Tune in every Friday morning, same time, same place.